praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Praise the Lord. Happy Thursdays, God people. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, uh, Elder Diana. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming in to Thursday's Midday Breakthrough with Apostle Karen Proctor. You guys know here on this uh, channel, we believe in the God of the breakthrough. Even when we don't know what to do, we call on the God of the breakthrough because we know that he is always coming through for his people. Hope that you guys have been having a great day so far. Glory be to God. As you come in, please share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Um, share the broadcast out with your friends. Let them know that Thursday's Midday Breakthrough Hour is in session. Hallelujah. I'm going to share it out just for a few seconds. After I share it out, we're going to make it do what it do. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's been a great day so far. And I'm believing God that it will continue to be a great day. Glory be to God. So, yeah, God is good. And all the time, like we used to say back in the days, and all the time, he is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Father, I just offer up this, this time, this gathering, hallelujah, among your people. I just lift it up to you, Father. God, I pray none of me but all of you, Father. I pray that you begin to gather the people. I pray that you will open up our hearts to hear what you have to say, God. Open up our ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the church today. God, I just pray over this internet, Father, over the airwaves, that you would just move by your spirit. Oh, God, just come in and clean up everything that needs to be clean, that your voice will be loud and clear. Hallelujah. Those that know the word of prayer, how to pray, go ahead and begin to pray with me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, let's begin to lift up the name of the Lord. Let's just begin to render praises unto our God, almighty God. Come on, let's just begin to praise him. Let's just begin to magnify him. Hallelujah, for the Lord God is worthy and he is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same his name is worthy. Come on, come on. Right there, wherever you are. If you are driving, come on, give him a glorious praise. If you are watching on your lunch break, if you have come to the replay, as you come in, just begin to make a, a glorious praise unto the Lord. Come on, begin to clap those hands. Begin to stump those feet. Come on, hallelujah. Let's just saturate <coughs> excuse me, this time together with prayer. Let's just begin to saturate the atmosphere in prayer. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm just looking forward to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Continuing to do great and mighty things in the life of his people. Hallelujah. The Bible say that everything that has breath, glory be to God. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to God. As we come in, let's drop down in those comments and let's begin to put what we are thankful for. Come on. God has given us another Thursday. Hey, 
Uh, Diana, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, Monique Graham, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Judy. God bless you guys. Come on, hallelujah. Let's begin to stir up a praise. Glory be to God. Let's begin to praise him. Go ahead and put up those little cyber hands. I see you, Judy, got them cyber hands lifted up. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God, a mighty God. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised even out here in cyberspace. Come on, hallelujah. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. When the praise is going, up the blessings come down when the praises go up the blessings come down hallelujah i thank god today glory be to god that he has placed each one of our names on the wake up list and we are still here glory be to god we are still here hallelujah even though somebody else may have uh, woke up this morning glory be to god but they died hallelujah glory be to god so we just want to give him a praise this morning if this is your first time hallelujah coming to this page well i am apostle karen proctor apostle in the lord's church under the leadership of jesus Christ. Here on this page, we believe in the God of the breakthrough. We believe that when we come together, hallelujah, as a body of believers and pray, we know that God, hallelujah, is in the midst and he's going to shift some things around. Come on, share, share, share. Let's share. Glory be to God. Let's share today. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn with me to Psalms 105. I'm going to just talk a little bit today about Almighty God is a God of covenant. Almighty God is a God of covenant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is a God of covenant. And we know covenant is glory be to God. I'm not trying to go into no long, worn out, drawn out uh, definition because it simply means an agreement, a, a promise, and a, an agreement between two people. Come on. A promise that was made through two people, whether it's by word, come on, or whether it's written in the on a paper, a formal piece of paper, a contract, a deal. Glory be to God. And then we know that there's that covenant of the blood. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God just really stared this up in my spirit today. He want to bless you today. He want to remind you today, hallelujah, that he is a covenant-keeping God. God is a covenant-keeping God. No matter what it look like, no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are experiencing, don't let the devil rob you out of the God promises are yea and amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Can I tell you, glory be to God. Can I remind some of you, glory be to God, that God changes not. I know sometimes we change like the wind. Glory be to God. My daughter always tell me, Mom, the people may get confused because you always changing your hair. Come on. Hallelujah. I told her I can do that. Glory be to God to God. But here is the thing. God never changed. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And when he has made those covenants with us, glory be to God, he will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just excited about the Lord in the land of the living. Glory be to God. Like the psalmist says, if I go down in the grave, hallelujah, I can't praise him from there. So why I I am yet above the grave. Hallelujah. I decided that I'm going to praise him. I decided that I am going to worship him today. Glory be to God. Let's get the sharing. Let's get the sharing. Let's get the sharing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. I may be sharing just a little excerpt from two of my books today. Glory be to God. But the main book, hallelujah, is the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. That's the book for me. Glory be to God that we stand on the word of God. So let's get into it. Psalms 105. And I just want to cover uh, verse 8 through 20. Psalms 105 verse 8 through 20. Are you ready? Ready. Glory be to God. If you're ready, say ready, 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 ready. If you're ready, say ready. Glory be to God. Ready to hear what God have to say. Because I don't want to be speaking hallelujah to a group of people that is not ready. I want to speak to some people that are ready today. Glory be to God. Ready to hear what God has to say during this noonday hour. Glory be to God. Psalms 105, verse 8 through 20. Hey, Pastor Shala, God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just begin to think about uh, what a covenant that God have with us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Just thinking on some things that uh, people do, glory be to God, to get status in the earth realm, to get status among people. Do you not know that there are people out here that kill children, kidnap children, kidnap people, take their blood, hallelujah, to enter into a ungodly covenant. Glory be to God. So we're going to pray today that we're going to even pray against those ungodly covenants. But we just want to talk about the covenant of God just for a minute. Glory be to God just to stir you up. Amen. Hallelujah. So Psalms 105 verse 8 through 20. Verse 8 through 11 talks about how God keeps the covenant of his people to a thousand generations. So what does that mean? In essence, it means that baby, even when you are gone out of this lifetime, your ancestors, come on, hallelujah, the fruit of your womb, the, the seed of your body for the men, the women, the fruit, come on, hallelujah, the covenant of God will still be upon their life. Even after it's all said and done, Pastor, the devil. Glory be to God. God is still a covenant keeper. Glory be to God to a thousand generations. So let me go. Glory be to God to verse uh, 8 through 11. What does it read? I'm glad you asked. So here it is. It say he had remembered his covenant. Who is that he? That is God. For he had remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Glory be to God. God is a promise keeper. A promise keeper. He keep his promises to a thousand generations. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath with Isaac. And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. And to Israel for a everlasting covenant. Saying unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We see here, hallelujah, where he mentioned, glory be to God, a legacy. He said, what Abraham will ask the time, what he can't understand. God begin to speak to his heart so he don't interrupt me no more. Glory be to God. So we see that God is a covenant keeping God down to a thousand generations. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Verse 12 through 15. Although they were few in numbers going from nation to nation and kingdom to kingdom, he still protected them and dwelt with them even he dealt with the big boys that came after them. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me read verse 12 and 15 through 15 for you. When they were but a few men in number, yeah, very few and strangers in it. That mean when they were going, like I already said, from nation to nation and from kingdom to under different kings. Amen. When they were but a few men in number, yeah, very few and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom 
to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah, he reproved kings for their sake. Glory be to God, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The word of the Lord say he reproved kings for their sake. Come on. Hallelujah. Letting them know that he they could not do God's prophets and his anointed people no harm. Why? Because God had a covenant with these people. Glory be to God. Can I tell you today that the Lord has a covenant with us. Come on. Hallelujah. I say a covenant is an agreement. Hallelujah. A promise, whether it's written, whether it's spoken, glory be to God. We know that the covenant, the eternal covenant that Jesus had with us, his people down in this New Testament dispensation was written with the ink of his blood. Come on. Hallelujah. He gave up his blood. Glory be to God to bring us into a covenant with Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And because we are in covenant as kingdom citizens, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He will do, God will do the same for us that he did for Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, even Israel. Come on, somebody. He is a covenant-keeping God. Hallelujah. He went against kings for them. Glory be to God. Even when they were strangers in a strange land. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Can I tell you today that you are the apple of God's eye? You are the apple of God's eye. God will go against the big man for you. Sometimes you have a tendency. We have a tendency to think that, oh, we're just little. We're just insignificant. But baby, once you have that covenant with God, Glory be to God. You hear through the reading of God's word. Come on. Hallelujah. He reproved kings for them, their sake. Come on. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Come on. Even when the enemy come up against you like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard against the enemy. Do I have a witness today? Have you ever went through something in your life? Glory be to God. And you just did not know how you were going to come out of that thing. Come on. Hallelujah. But God went to bat for you. Come on. How many have God gone to bat for? Come on. I know that God has went to bat for me so many different times. Come on. Hallelujah. Why? Because he is a covenant keeping God. Verse 15 says again, when he dealt with those kings, he's saying, touch not my anointed. Come on. Hallelujah. And do my prophets no harm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to end it with verse 16 through 20. Glory be to God. This is just my little commentary before I read the verses. The Lord called for a famine in the land, but hallelujah, he had a person in place to preserve his people. Come on, in the person of Joseph. Why? Because he is a covenant keeping God. Come on. Hallelujah. In the midst of all of these trials and tribulations, glory be to God. God wanted to show himself mighty that he is still a covenant keeping God. Even when Joseph was sold into exile, come on. Hallelujah. And the famine came in the land. Glory be to God. So many times when we are going through through, we have a tendency to feel like, woe is me, woe is me. Rather than getting to that place that God is using me for a reason. God is bringing me through this for a reason. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God's people were dispersed from nations to nations under king, different kings. And so, Joseph was even a part of that. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But God 
put Joseph in place for a reason. Can you say today, Sister uh, Pamela, that God have you in place for a reason? Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes God allow us to go through these things for the saving of a people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because he is a covenant keeping God. So let me read for you. Verse 16 through 20. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. Hallelujah. He broke the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph. Come on. Hallelujah. But God had a setup. Come on. Hallelujah. He sent the man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron. Come on, glory be to God. They didn't only send him there, but they put his feet in fetters. Come on, feathers of iron. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse 19 say, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Until the time that the word of the Lord came, his word tried him. I want you to get that in your spirit, man, today. Until the time that the word came, the word of the Lord tried him. So many times we are in positions where our back is against the wall. We don't know what we're going to do. We don't know how we're going to get out of this. Just like Joseph feet was in feathers of iron. He had to be in that position. He had to go through what he was going through until what? Verse 19 say, until the time that the word came, his word came, the word of the Lord, baby. Can I tell you today, God is a God of covenant. Come on. Hallelujah. He, we will not allow you to go through nothing. Hallelujah. And not do anything about it. God always make a way of escape. Now we got to understand his time is not our time and his ways are not our ways, but God have a mighty good plan. Can I get a witness today? Come on. God has a plan. Verse 20 says, the king, see the word, let me go back to verse 19 again. Until the word came, until the word came, the people were in famine. Glory be to God. They were scattered. They were dispersed. Joseph's feet were in fetters. But when the word of the Lord came, baby, can I tell you, glory be to God, your enemies have to loose you. Glory be to God. They have to loose you. Glory be to God. Verse 20, the king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. Mm. Glory be to God. Can I tell you today? Glory be to God that God is sending a word today. God is sending a word today. Glory be to God to let you go from what the enemy tried to bound you up in. Glory be to God. Not only you, not only, not only you, but even your family. Glory be to God. Why? Glory be to God. Because we heard in verse 8 that God is a God of a thousand generations. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He dealt with uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel. Come on. Hallelujah. He didn't forget about Joseph. Glory be to God over there in Egypt. Can I tell you today, somebody, glory be to God. God has not forgotten about you. God has not forgotten about you. He has not forgotten about your children. He has not forgotten about you. Come on. He has not forgotten about your grandchildren. Glory be to God. Why? Glory be to God. He has not forgotten about that pact that he has made with your mother, with your father. Glory be to God, with your grandparents. Whoever was in your family that was serving God. And if there were nobody in your family serving God, perhaps you are the first generation of the people that named the name of the Lord. And for that reason, glory be to God, the Lord is coming in a covenant with you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God from everlasting to everlasting. Glory be to God. 
Glory be to God. When the word of the Lord come, hallelujah, you can park right there. Hallelujah. Even the, the enemy that tried to hold you bound, like he tried to hold Joseph bound. Come on. Hallelujah. Putting shekels on his feet, feathers on his feet, thinking that he would not get up from that position. Glory be to God. Like the enemy, your enemy, think that you will not get up from that position. But there is coming a time when God will send a word and that word will release you. Come on. Hallelujah. That word will release your son. It will release your daughter. Come on. Hallelujah. It will release your grandchildren. Glory be to God. Even after you are gone from here. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is a covenant keeping God. He make promises. Come on. So many times we make promises and we can't keep those promises. Even if we meant to keep them. Glory be to God. But one thing about God. Through Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. What does Numbers 23 and 19 says? Glory be to God. Well, I'm glad you asked. Hallelujah. God is not a man that he shall lie. He's not the son of man that he shall repent. That that he say it. Come on. He will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. He will make good of everything that he has said. Glory be to God. That is why. Glory be to God. We can walk around with our hands lifted up and our hearts filled with praise. Telling the Lord, thank you. Glory be to God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, I know that you're going to do it for me. God, I know that you're moving on behalf of my marriage. God, I know that you're moving. Glory be to God in my body. In spite of what the doctors say. In spite of what the diagnosis is. God, you, you promise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This promise book, this book here is filled with the promises of God. Glory be to God. That's why we got to get into it. That's why we got to read the word of the Lord. When we read the word of the Lord, glory be to God, then we can stand on his promise. Glory be to God. Why? Because we know that he is coming for his word. Because he's not a man that he should lie. Glory be to God. Every promise that God has made concerning you, Glory be to God. It will come to pass. Glory be to God. If you stay in place, if you stay in place, glory be to God. It will come to pass. Hallelujah. You got to encourage yourself in the Lord like David did after all of his mighty men left him. Mighty men left him. Glory be to God. David say, here's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to encourage myself in the Lord because I know what the Lord told me. Glory be to God. I know that God has come through for me so many times and I know he's not going to leave me now. Come on. Hallelujah. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me even in the presence of my enemy. Thou hast anointed my head with oil and my cup run it over. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You got to minister to yourself sometimes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You got to encourage yourself in the word of God. Hallelujah. God, this is your covenant with me. Glory be to God. God, you have made a covenant with me and my family. God, you said in your word when I get saved, my whole house shall be saved. God, that ain't my word. That's your covenant with me. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You got some unsaved uh, children. <laughs> yeah, this was beginning to be a little hindering. You got some unsaved children. Glory be to God. Some unsaved people in your household. Glory be to God. Remind God of his covenant. Hallelujah. He keep covenant to a thousand generations. Glory be to God. That's that devil that you allow sometime to get in your ear. Well, it's taking too long. God ain't going to do it. God ain't going to do it. Uh, 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 uh. Well, is it really true? Yes, it is true. Glory be to God. God want you to believe it. If you can believe it, you can receive it. Come on, somebody. It's hard for you to receive. Get something. Receive it if you don't believe it. Come on. You got to. Glory be to God. 
believe it in order to receive it. Glory be to God. Joseph could have gave up on God after Potiphar's wife lied on him, but Joseph stayed in place because God had already showed him something. Glory be to God. In spite of what he was going through, glory be to God. Abraham could have moved out of place. Glory be to God, but he believed God. Hallelujah. And the Bible say it was counted unto him. It was imputed unto him for righteousness. Just how God said that he was going to bless Abraham and Sarah. Glory be to God. Open up their dead wombs and give them a child. Did not he do it? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Like he told Abraham, I will make you a father of many nations. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What has God promised you, Maggie Monty? What has God promised you? Glory be to God. Stand on it. Hallelujah. What has God uh, promised you, Minister Judy? Stand on it. What has God promised you, Pamela? Stand on it. Believe God for it. What has God promised you, Monique? Stand on it. Hallelujah. He is a covenant-keeping God. He keep covenant to a thousand generations. Glory be to God. To any person that is on this breakthrough broadcast. Glory be to God. Maybe I haven't called out your name. Glory be to God. But the same holds true for you. Whatever God has promised you, he will bring it to pass. Because he's a covenant-keeping God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And you got to understand, sometimes people, hallelujah, believe that this word is, the covenant is for them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But the covenant is only for those, glory be to God, that keep uh, compliance. Amen. Hallelujah. That has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That's who the covenant is for. Come on, somebody. Sometimes people think they can do any, any, any old thing. Glory be to God and think they're in covenant with God. But it's not. The covenant is not for the wicked. The covenant is for the righteous. Say that. The covenant is for the righteous. The covenant. Glory be to God is for the righteous. Glory be to God. Uh, so Psalms number 50 and verse 16 says, But unto the wicked... God said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that you should take my covenant in thy mouth? See, this word ain't going to work for the wicked, because God said, hallelujah, but unto the wicked, God said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? See, the wicked cannot declare the statutes of God, but the righteous can declare the statutes of God. This is why we see in the book of Job where God told him, you can decree a thing and it shall be done. Glory be to God. See, we can decree God's word. Hallelujah. It is his statute for us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Devo, what has God, hallelujah, promised you? What covenant God has made with you and your family? Can I tell you, woman of God, if you continue to stand on the word of God, your eyes will behold the goodness of the Lord. You're going to see all of your children and your children, children, saved and sanctified, Filled with the Holy Ghost. Walking up the King's Highway. No matter what the enemy throw your way. Yeah, uh-huh. The enemy put Joseph in fetters. Glory be to God. But the word of the Lord came. Glory be to God. At the right time. Glory be to God. And they had to take those shackles. Glory be to God. Off of Joseph. Hallelujah. God sent Joseph over to Egypt in advance. Glory be to God to prepare the way. Hallelujah for his people. Glory be to God because he knew that famine of seven years was coming in the land. Even as we're going to begin to experience a lot of shortage of gas, shortage of food, shortage of all kind of supply. Glory be to God. Can I tell you glory be to God. Just like Joseph. Glory be to God. There are many of God people that God is positioning and put in place.
place. Glory be to God. And sometimes we feel like, oh God, it's me, God. What have I gone through? God, you know this, that, and the other. But I, you know, I'm shut up. Just like God sent Joseph to Egypt for the saving of his family's souls. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because when that famine came, hallelujah, and Joseph, hallelujah, became the governor in charge of the supplies. Glory be to God. He was able to feed his brethren. Come on, somebody. I want to tell you by the oracles of God. Glory be to God. I don't care how it look like, what you may be experiencing. I hear the Lord say to you today, don't get out of place. Don't get out of place. Glory be to God because God have a covenant with you. Glory be to God. And because of God covenant with you, hallelujah, many people are going to be saved. Glory be to God. Your family will be saved. Glory be to God. You're going to be able to pull in even some people, hallelujah, from your community, from your neighborhood. Glory be to God. Because God is going to release some things unto you. Glory be to God. Even when the enemy has tried to try you, just like God sent the word to the kings, come on, hallelujah, to tell them to loose his people. Glory be to God. Can I tell you, God is going to do, glory be to God, the same for you. Glory be to God. God is going to make your name great. Hallelujah. You may feel insignificant and like you are nothing and nobody at this time, but that's all right. Can I tell you, you are the apple of God's eye. Glory be to God. God have a covenant with you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God has a covenant with you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Not only is God going to have a eternal covenant with salvation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God for your people. Glory be to God. But he's going to give you everything that you need to sustain you in these coming times. Glory be to God. God you better hear what God is saying today. God is going to give you, glory be to God, everything that you need. Hallelujah. To sustain you in these coming times. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. There are times, glory be to God, that we are coming up on to. Glory be to God where God will keep you, where God will sustain you through it all. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. There are some people, hallelujah, that don't believe and don't trust in the true and the living God. And so what they do, they go and serve God. Hallelujah, that has eyes. You hear me say this. Hallelujah. More than once, more than twice. Glory be to God. They have, they serve gods that have eyes and can't see. Hallelujah. Have ears and can't hear. Have a mouth but can't talk. But we have a God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is able to do for us exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think that we don't have to enter into an ungodly covenant come on hallelujah glory be to god father we just thank you today god we just praise you today we bless you today god we magnify you today god we glorify your name today god we denounce everything hallelujah even from our generations god from the third to the fourth generation every band of wickedness in our life father god we denounce it we repent of it in the mighty name of jesus jesus we thank you for cleansing us with your mighty blood oh father we thank you right now for loosening the bands of wickedness off of our life, off of our family, Father. Hallelujah. Everything that we set our hands unto, Father, we decree and we declare today that the band of wickedness is being loosed in the mighty name of Jesus, just as the feathers was taken off of, off of Joseph's feet. Father, we thank you today that you have sent the word to loose us, oh God. Hallelujah. From the plan of the enemy, from the hand of the wicked one. Father, we thank you right now, God. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That we are being established in your word. That our children, our family, God, marriages are being established in your word, God. Everything that the devil meant for harm, Father. We thank you, Father, that it's being reversed, Father. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you the thanks and we give you the praise, God. Hallelujah, God. We just glorify you. We glorify you. God, we just thank you. God, we thank you. We praise you, God. We, we magnify your name. Glory be to God. I don't know who that was out there. But Father, we just magnify the name of the Lord. There is no God like you, Father. And God, we just thank you, Father, that your word is forever settled in the heaven and the earth, Father. God, we pray today, God, that this word will get in our spirit, get in our DNA, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you right now for what you're doing. Even with all of this distraction on the phone, oh God, at the door, God. Hallelujah, Father. Whatever that person need, God. Father, I ask that you would do it for them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we just thank you. God, we praise you. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sorry about my little radicalness today, but I feel God today. I feel somebody is being released from the band of wickedness today. Glory be to God. Whatever trap, whatever booby trap that the enemy has been trying to hold you down, hold you back, whatever booby trap that the enemy has dug for your family, can I tell you, it will not work. Whatever booby trap it is, I hear the Lord say that it will not work. It will not work because today God is sending his word. God is sending his word and that devil glory be to God has to let you go. Have to let your family go. Glory be to God. Have to let those children go. Glory be to God that has been taken for a blood ransom. Hallelujah for the use of the enemy. We rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father we thank you right now that you made a way of escape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' holy name, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Father, we just thank you. I love you and I praise you today. Hallelujah. Well, guys, bye for now. Let me go and check this door and see what this phone call is all about. Glory be to God. It just be maybe, hallelujah, my miracle. Glory be to God. Why? Because God is a covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Everything we need, want, desire. Glory be to God. Once it line up with the will of God. Glory be to God at the appointed time. God will send his word. If you don't remember nothing else, remember this. At the appointed time, God will send his word. Hallelujah. Bye for now. Make it a great day.